Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Kamal Tama, and I will be your instructor on this class. So today we're going to see how we can make this animation. Let's see what we will get. So using the rigid body, we'll make this animation easily inside two minutes. Let's get started by making a new file. All right, here we are now in Blender, and I will see. I will make it inside the modeling tab, and I will make an any object such as a cube and scale. 0.5 and move 0.5 in z axis because we have this one meter by one meter so i will make this to be rigid active and instead of again repeat the deactivation because now it will fall uh, and if we have a lot of objects let's see see what we will get so i will duplicate in z axis 0.51 Duplicate in Z axis 1.01. We have some space, one centimeter. So Shift R, we will make a lot of objects such as this. And what is the problem here? If we play, you will see that it's full, and we don't want that. So I will start the activation. Uh, so I will make it start to deactivate and select all these objects and select this one finally and object rigid body start or copy from active I mean we should have some plane so if you play you will see it's not activated it's not moving so I will make an a plane and scale and select all and apply the scale select this one also apply the scale and make it rigid body passive let's see what we will get now if we play we will see that nothing happened i will make here any object uh, this object may be any object such as cone or 90 degrees and scale G and Z, a G in X axis and exclude in the X axis, such as this. Again, make here some detail. Extrude Alt S. maybe looks like a bullet and I will apply the subdivision surface all right so uh, we will now go uh, to play and move this in its x-axis so we should make it passive also rigid body and to be passive let's again play and move this in x, -x axis and so play and move uh, and this will be animated and let's go here in the rigid body and it will be animated so let's go here we are let's play again and go select all apply the scale how we can make an awesome animation so i will select all and uh, move let's duplicate that shift d in x axis shift d in x axis shift d in x axis again shift d in x axis and uh, here uh, let's play and try all right and uh, i will go to this frame and desert and location 
and go to 30 frame maybe and insert here and location and go here again and move here and insert and location let's see what we will get now all right this will be our final animation scale And that's uh, that, that was the result of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you in the next tutorial.